World Rugby has welcomed the decision of the Fiji Rugby Union to stand down Chairman Francis Keane from the World Rugby Council, after accusations of rampant homophobia. The move also means Keane, who was convicted of manslaughter in 2007, is no longer a candidate for the World Rugby Executive Committee. A report in Britain's Sunday Times said Keane had been accused of rampant homophobia, with the newspaper saying they had heard a recording of him making offensive remarks when he was in charge of the Fijian prison service. The Fiji Rugby Union has seconded Bill Beaumont's bid to serve a second four-year term as World Rugby Chairman, with the former England captain being opposed by Argentina great Agustin Pichot. World Rugby on Monday launched an investigation into the allegations against Keane and on Tuesday acknowledged the steps taken by the FIU. World Rugby takes all allegations of behavior that is not in keeping with the sport's strong and inclusive values and bylaws extremely seriously, it said in a statement. The global governing body said it was important for the allegations to be fully investigated. But it added, it is in the best interests of the sport that Mr. Keane steps down from the council and his executive committee candidature be withdrawn. Keane had come under further pressure earlier on Tuesday when a Pacific players group made fresh allegations against him, former Samoa captain Dan Leo, chief executive of Pacific Rugby Players Welfare, wrote a scathing open letter that strongly criticized Keane and his candidacy for the executive committee. You may have thought as Pacific Islanders, we would fall in line in support of Keane. But it is extraordinary to anyone involved in the game in the Pacific that Keane is even on the ballot, wrote Leo. In his hard-hitting letter, Leo said Keane, a brother-in-law of Fiji Prime Minister Frank Bainimarama, made several claims including that he travels on a diplomatic passport that carries different names from those on the passport he held when convicted. Keane's place on the World Rugby Council will be filled by Fijian Union CEO John O'Connor. World Rugby have stressed Beaumont's nomination came from the Fiji Rugby Union, rather than from the chairman individually, with council places similarly awarded to national unions not individuals. Fijian support for Beaumont is seen as a counterbalance to Pichot, who is believed to have strong support among other second-tier nations. Beaumont has promised that, if re-elected, he will undertake a full governance review, including a fit and proper persons test. The election result will be announced on May 12. Let's block ads. Why?